Hey, what is up YouTube? Demon Sparks here today again as always on this channel and today's video we can get right into it and this is going to be a tutorial video on how to make a vent hood or an air hood depending on how you want to do it push or pull setup meaning you can have the polarity switched or just have the fan blade rotated from one side to the other for example in this one that I built I have the air as an intake, and this takes intakes your air and vents it out the slot end of right there. And the angles help to spread the airflow as well. I'm going to show you the top side of the view. Now, like I said, for this model, this is just an air hood, so this is uh, an air blower, basically. This does not intake air, it actually blows air out. The only intaking part is here. Um, if you want to actually make this to like a fume hood, for example, you would reverse this, so it would be drawing air from the bottom up into there, and have a pipe or whatever you would want to vent it back out to wherever you would want. So that's a fairly simple switching process, if, depending on however you want to do it for whatever application. This, however, is just used to move some air. So that's a, basically a fan that has an angled uh, hood vent, so it can spread air at a wide angle without having to oscillate, which is very useful. And as you can see at the top, I have my hanging straps, which are tied at the other end with knots so they don't slip through. All cut at the same length with some shrink tubing at the end and crimped over. Very, very superheated uh, shrink tubing that I got crimped over that holds all these wires together as well as the wires being melted and uh, inter interwined into the uh, inside of this piece of shrink tubing. And that, with that being said, I have some zip ties on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll pick it up. See, no problem to lift it, no problem to hang it. It's not the prettiest, of course, because this was originally just a prototype as a proof of concept to try to build this out of just household materials for basically absolutely nothing uh, budget-wise. As you can see, there's a little bit of uh, caulk silicone, whatever you want to call it, uh, on the edges to help keep the airflow sealed rather than having it leak out. Uh, so pretty much all the airflow goes exactly where it needs to go. Uh, and at the top, of course, is your my power inlet. So to get the camera to focus, so I can show you guys, it's just the uh, standard female 12 volt. Uh, you can find them in practically almost any 12 volt appliance or like a router, modem, stuff like that. Here's the 12 volt plug that is the male, the uh, male 12 volt plug that plugs into the uh, top of the vent. And here is the better look at the inside of the vent. These are all set at an angle, as you can tell. A little bit better to see it on video at this angle. It shows more of a, the hood shape, more like a stove hood or however, whatever you want to compare it to. And you can see it's all been silicone caulked off on the edges to not only help ensure the airflow doesn't leak out, but it stays directed, as well as help keep the actual assembly together since that's basically what it was done with. I used a little bit of JB Weld over there, but it became too tedious to keep JB Welding it since it takes too long to cure, and you have to help, you have to hold it at an angle as you're building this, so you can keep each one of your uh, angled pieces of cardboard to actually get that widespread effect from just one direction, uh, one directed fan, so it, it actually spreads out, which works perfectly. And onto the inside. As I stated, here's the uh, hanging wires that are fed through and knotted at the inner end on all four corners. Very basic stuff. Here's the actual fan. It's upside down, but this is a, I don't know, some Chinese fans. 12 volt DC, 0 0.40 amps. And I believe this is a brushless motor. Here's a proper look at the uh, actual model of the fan. Yuka Chang, Yuk Yuk uh, I don't know. Model 89225R12M. It's a hydraulic bearing. I don't know if that means it's brushless or not. 
I'm not too familiar with these types of fans, but it runs really well. I've been putting countless hours on it. And here's the intake circuitry for the uh, power input, which I had wired up, obviously, straight to just the fan itself. Has some shrink tubing on there and all soldered up shrink tubes. And this is JB welded into place in the top of the cardboard, which is pretty simple. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in and show you guys what it's like running. This is from a few feet away, about two feet. The camera's wide angle just doesn't make it look realistic, but it's from about 24 inches away or so. And of course, for some demonstration purposes, here is some toilet paper at the ends of the vent hood. I'll show you the airflow. As you can see, it's a nice consistent breeze type of flow and I'll show you guys the air intake the CFM of the intake So as you can see, it draws quite a lot of air and it moves quite a lot of CFM for being such a small little, uh, I think it's an 80 millimeter fan, it's 12 volt, 80 millimeter. Don't know how many RPM, but it's just a basic computer fan, so. But that being said, that's just the general gist of how to build one of these vent hoods or fume hoods or however or whatever you want to do with it. So basically, you start off with just your average square box. Don't cut any of the... Uh, flaps off, you leave those and you leave, make, use that as your base foundation and you make your four cutouts, uh, identical ones, make your one template for one edge of the angle and then you make four copies of that and angle those together as uh, edged together to make the angle. So I hope that helps you guys and if you ever wanted to build one of these you're able to do so yourself. Very useful for keeping air circulation going and very, very easy to build as well as very, very cheap if you wanted to make it on a budget with just some cardboard like this. But you're gonna be amazed what you can do with recyclable wool stuff like this. I hate to waste things, so I typically wind up reconditioning or reusing just about anything and everything that I possibly can. Well, that's what the life of an engineer does. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe, leave a comment below, tell me what you think, and have fun.